Hello everyone, welcome you all. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can work with the PyTest fixtures. So first of all, we need to understand what is a fixture in PyTest. So the purpose of test fixtures is uh, to provide a fixed baseline upon which tests can be reliably and repeatedly executed. So for example, if you have a method, I want to execute that method uh, before every test method is executed or after completion of every test method. Right, so then we can repetitively execute that particular method by using a fixtures. Now we will see uh, there are two cases, uh, two ways we can create the fixture. So one is we can create a fixture method which will execute before every method, and we can also create a fixture which will execute before and after every test method. Okay. Now let us see demo on this, and then we can understand very clearly. Let me just go to PyCharm, and uh, here I will just create a new python file i will just give some nemo is so always whenever we providing the names to this uh, file or test methods we need to always start with the test okay the test keyword should be present so now here i will give you some name called test underscore okay pytest demo one pytest demo one then click on ok button all right so now here i will just show you how we can specific method we can execute multiple times before actual test method is executed all right so for example uh, here is my scenario so i have a uh, test method one let's say test method one is there i have a test method two is there right so i have a one method called setup method so this method should execute before test method one and also before test method two and so on so for every test method i want to execute this setup method right so how we can do that so if you want to do this what I have to do is first of all let me just import pytest model so i'll just say pytest model import and after this i will just create the method so setup method i will first create so the name can be anything but here i'm just calling as a setup so that method i want to execute multiple times before actual test methods have been started so to do this, I will just say def uh, setup. This is also just a method we can create. And here we don't to specify any test keyword because this is, I will mention as a fixture later. And this is a method. And inside this method, I will just write print, right? Print once before every method I want to execute this. So I'll just same, I use the same message here. So once before every method, okay? So it will execute only once before every method is executing in your test and now i will also create actual test method so let's say dev let's say test method one test method one and this is a method and here i will just print some value and i'll say this is test method one and similarly i will also create one more test method let's say dev test method two and colon and here i will just print some message here i will just say this is test method two all right so now in this uh, test case i have just created two test methods and this is also currently considered as a test method but now i want to execute this test uh, setup method before test method one and also before test method two so multiple times so to do this we need to add one decorator here that is called at the rate at the rate pytest i pytest dot fixer so this is a called as a decorator so this we have to add for this particular method so now this method is considered as a fixture so now i want to execute this before test method one and before test method two right so whichever method i want to execute in before whichever method i want to execute this i need to just specify the name here here and also here okay so now what happens is before executing this test method one it will execute setup method first and after completion of this then before executing test method two it will execute the setup method one more time okay so let's run this code and see and if you want to run this we have to run through command prompt so in the command prompt we have to give pytest iphone v iphone s to see the output and then currently we have only one module in this particular file so i can uh, in this particular project so i don't you i don't need to give the any name or if you want to specifically run this particular module you must specify the name let's say test underscore and pytest demo right so pytest demo dot py so this is the name of the file all right so now let us execute and see what this will print 
So somehow it is getting failed. The file not found. So test hyphen pytest demo dot py is not found. So why? Because it is test hyphen pytest demo one, right? So we have not given one. So let me just clear this. And now again, I'll just save one here and then execute. All right. Now it is executed. Now let us understand this output which is given here. So here the two methods are collected. So one is test method one, test method two. So this setup method is not considered as a test method. This is a fixture now. So observe this. So first test method one, once before every method. So if you observe this, once before every method, right? So once before every method is coming from fixture. So that means setup method is executed. Setup method is executed. After that, this is a test method one. So what does that mean is test method one is executed and this is done. So before the test method one setup method is executed and then here once before every method again here it is executed setup method right and then this is the test method two. that means this is test method two executed. So what we understood is this setup method is executed multiple times before test method one and before test method two and so on. Okay. So for example, if I remove this one, what happens? So I have just not mentioned this fixture method. Now what happens? So when I run this code, so how to run this code again? Through command prompt only we can run this code. Let me just clear the screen. Then I'm running the same code. Now observe the output now. So it is collected two items, right? It collected two items. That is test method one, test method two. But when I execute our test method one, and fixture method is executed. So now we can see once before every method. So that message is coming from the setup method. And after this, this method is test method one is executed and passed. And now the setup method is not executed before test method two. See here. So directly it is giving this is test method two. But before the test method two, setup method is not executed. Why? Because we haven't specified the setup method here. Right, so this is how we need to work with a, a fixer. So this is a pytest dot fixer. This is a one kind of decorator. When you specify that, so this method can be used before every method. But we have to specify this name method here. This should come here. Okay, this is a one kind of fixer. All right. So now let us go with the another. So here there is another kind of fixer we have. Suppose uh, I want to execute the same method multiple times before and also after the test method two times okay and that case we need to go for pytest.yield underscore fixture there is another fixture we have now let us see one more demo on this i will just create one more example for this let's create a new python file so i will just name it as test underscore python test underscore pytest pytest demo 2 test underscore pytest demo 2 so one is already there so i'm just creating the two so here what i can do is so here I, first of all i will just create a, one pytest so first we need to import right so import pytest we have to import and after this i will just create the as usual all the methods so the first method i will create is observe this this is very important so dev setup method i will create all right, so in the setup method, as setup method, observe this, I will specify this method as decorator called at the rate pytest dot pytest dot yield underscore fixture, yield underscore fixture now. So when I say like this, what happens is inside this method, now I'm just printing the sub message print. So here I will say once before every method. Okay, so as soon as we use this method name in another test methods, then first before that test method is started once before every method. That means this method, this particular statement will be executed. Now, when I say yield keyword here, this is a yield keyword, right? Y I E L D. So after saying yield keyword, then what happens is wait here I write one more message. Let's say print. So here I'll just say once after every method once after every method so this is a setup method now let us understand when this will execute so let us say i have a two methods let me just expand here so let us say i have two methods test method one and i say test method two so there are two test methods i have in my test case now in the setup method this is my setup method 
in the setup method, I have given two statements, statement one and statement two, right? So when I say setup method, I mentioned here and also here. Now, and between these two statements, I have used yield keyword, yield keyword, right? So now what happens is this is the first statement, this is the second statement, right? So when I execute my test case, what happens is before test method one is executed, the first statement will execute. Okay, before test method is executed. After completion of this test method one, the statement two will be executed. So before and after. But the same statements will be part of the same method. But still, the first statement will be executed before test method one, and the second statement will be executed after test method one. Similarly, for the test method two also, before starting test method two, the first statement will execute, and after completion of the test method two, statement two will be executed. So before and after. Okay, this is a this is how the this particular fixer will work. So whatever statements we are putting before yield state before yield keyword all even it can be one statement or multiple statement all these statements will be executed before the test method one and after yield keyword whatever statements we put under these statements will be executed after completion of the test method so this will be repeat for every test method in your test case all right so that's how this uh, fixture will be work now let us see practically so here I have just created setup method along with this. I will also create test methods. Let's create one dev Let's say test method one Right, so this is my test method one and here I will just say some message here. This is test method one This is test method one All right, so now similarly, I will also create one more test method dev test method two and colon and here I will just say print this is right so this is test method 2 all right so now if you want to apply this picture to this methods what we need to do we have to specify the name of the method right so that's a common thing so here and here all right so now let us execute and see how it will execute so where we have to execute this one we need to execute this from your command prompt so currently I have a two test cases in my project, right? So I have to execute only second test case. So what I should do is I need to write command pytest space iphone v iphone s. Now what's the name of the module? Test underscore pytest demo 2.py. All right. So now when I execute this, let us understand what will happen. So now it is executed. Now let us understand the what is an output it is returned. So it is collected two items. So what does that mean is our test case contains a test method one and test method two perfectly right now see this is the first output here. Okay, so test method one from the test method one test method before executing once before every method once before every method from where this message is coming from from here you're coming from okay from before once before every method means setup method the first statement is executed here after the test method one is executed here this is an output of test method one okay and after that we'll get the one more message once after every method that means this method this statement is executed after completion of the test method this is the output of the actual test method this is the output of the actual test method and before the statement executed after completion of this another statement is executed and both the statements are from the same method okay and similarly same thing is happened from the second test case also now when you come down here this is our second test case second test method right so in the te second test method again same thing is happened so if you observe here once before every method that means the first statement is executed after this test method is executed after completion of this after every method that means after yield method whatever statement we specified statement will be executed all right so this is how we need to use the fixtures to organize your test methods in a class so this is another kind of fixture we have so when i say a statements before this yield keyword will be executed before every test method and when i specify the statements after this yield keyword will be executed after completion of every test method so that's the main uh, usage of these two fixtures all right so that's all for this video so thanks for watching please subscribe my channel to get more updates on this thank you all